National Hispanic Heritage Month begins tomorrow. So this morning, we're going to sit down with a trailblazer right here on Earth and beyond. We're going to talk all things space with Dr. Ellen Ochoa in just a moment. But first, her incredible journey so far. Dr. Ellen Ochoa's life has been marked by some out-of-this-world firsts. In 1993, becoming the first Hispanic woman to go to space. Liftoff of Discovery on the... Serving on a nine-day mission aboard the space shuttle Discovery. I'm looking at some great views of South America. She returned to space three more times, in all totaling nearly 1,000 hours in orbit. After rising through the ranks at NASA, Dr. Ochoa became the first Hispanic director of the Johnson Space Center. Later, inducted into the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame, alongside the likes of Neil Armstrong and Sally Ride. And now Dr. Ochoa is dedicated to inspiring the next generation of scientists, helping children reach for the stars. And to that end, Dr. Ochoa is the author of a new children's book titled We Are All Scientists, oh. and she is here to tell us all about it. Dr. Ochoa, good to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. So, so as you pass this knowledge on uh, to, to the, this younger generation, why is it so important to do that, especially now? You know, I wanted to give kids the idea that the things they're naturally interested in, asking questions about the world and trying to understand it, that's exactly what scientists do. Mm. And maybe it'll give them the idea when they're really little that this is something that they could have as a career when they're older. Plant the seed early. Absolutely. So, you know, most people are familiar with STEM, science, technology, right. um, engineering, and math. I was about to say electricity. But, no. <laughs> but now, I'm like Chanel. But now, and even my mom, she's an art teacher, right? Uh -huh. So she pushes STEAM, which it seems right. to be the, the thought there. So we add arts in the middle. And I just read, I didn't realize that you also play the flute. Yes. So you've got both sides of the brain. I got to play my flute in space on my first wow. session. That is awesome. <laughs> Talk about that, the combining the musical and artistic mm -hmm. side with the engineering side. Well, you know, I think kids have interests in a lot of different areas, and you definitely don't want to give the idea that if you go into science and math, somehow you have to give up uh, other things Absolutely. that you might be interested in. Mm -hmm. And really, they all involve curiosity and creativity. It's true. Let's talk about Artemis for a second. As you know, it's been mm -hmm. delayed twice. Now it looks like it's scheduled to, to happen on September 27th. Looking ahead to 2025, we're going to send the first woman, the first person of color, to the moon. What does that, that promise mean to you? Mm. I think it really means that we're reaching out to everybody across the country and saying, this is your space program. Mm. Uh, it's a program that expands scientific knowledge. It helps develop new technologies and use them in new ways that can be applied on Earth. And NASA wants everybody to feel a part of that. Uh, it, you know, it's just going to be hugely exciting. Mm -hmm. you know, in, in this end of the science careers, uh, it's National Hispanic Month starting tomorrow. Uh, as you look at your career and, and the, the folks coming up behind you, how, how excited are you about the future of this? This is a great time to be in human space exploration. You know, I was really lucky to come along at the time that I did when, first of all, women and, and per people of color be got to become astronauts, which wasn't true when I was little. And as I was at NASA, really, not only the astronaut corps, but all across NASA, there was a much more diverse workforce as the years went on. Mm -hmm. And so when I became director of Johnson Space Center, uh, you know, it wasn't unusual anymore yeah. for uh, somebody to be in that position. When it comes to exploring the frontier, <laughs> if you will, let's say 10 years from now or even the next generation, at its best, what do you hope that we will have had accomplished by then? Well, I want us to uh, have people on the moon to be under to be learning more about science and the history of the moon, which, of course, is the history of Earth as well, but also to be planting those seeds for future exploration. And, of course, Mars is where uh, NASA wants to head. And I think the great thing about science for young people is learning its experimentation yes. and that you can't have success without failure in <laughs> science. That's right. To teach some yeah. of our kids That's that. part of it. For sure. All right, Dr. Good to have you, Dr. Thank Joe. you. Thanks Thank so you. much. The book is We Are All Scientists, and it's out right now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.